Colleagues, we will cross over now to adding questions. Let me just go to our program and take stock. So far, we did not add question. Eh? We were only um, taking care of the settings, okay? Which is very important to deal with the settings in the context of examination. Um, <laughs> now we want to look at which Moodle question type will fit your subject questions. Okay, and uh, to start on that, there was one file I was using yesterday was with this one. Okay, now colleagues, I want to let you know we, we do have so many subjects and they are all unique. They are all unique and they have unique questions and context and so on and so on. We want to hear from you, perhaps before I even share on this file. Have you have you have you been wondering? Have anybody ever wondered whether I have this question and which tool? Uh, not not tool per se, but which question type in Moodle can fit my question? Now, such 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 concerns have been mostly uh, observed from the STEM. But uh, we wouldn't, we don't really want to say it's only in STEM. It could be in any other setting, in any other subject as well. But we have some examples here, and the, the examples we have are, are in STEM. But we would like to invite you to also bring your case from other subjects. Now we do have. Is a type of the, the questions type that we have on Moodle. We have multiple choice, we have short answer questions, we have numeric, calculated, essay, and so on and so on. Sometimes you might be wondering, like, no, I think my question is so complicated. How do I put it in Moodle? We want you, we would like you to, if you are in front of your computer right now and you are able to access your questions. If there is such questions that you have been wondering, you have ever wondered if it can be asked on Moodle, please do uh, copy it in the chat and let us and let us know. But while while you are doing that, you would like to suggest not su suggest, but you would like to advise that at least until now. We are convinced that there is no question out there that Moodle cannot handle. And it's for that reason that we invite you, if there is a question that you might be wondering how Moodle could handle it and which question type can handle it, you, you, for you to bring it uh, to our attention. Um, Mr. Unona. Yes. I. <laughs> You know, I, I usually for my first year students, because it's, it's a big class, face-to-face, uh, -face, I used to do crossword puzzles. And I wish there is a way that I could do it on the system as well, on Moodle. Um, because I would, it, it's, it, yeah, I have so many reasons why I use crossword puzzles, because these are, I think I had about four, 500 students. I don't do essay or what I normally do is multiple choice, you know, which includes true or false and all that, but then also crossword puzzle because I'm trying to force them to think beyond just the normal. So is there a way for one to do that on model? Thank you very much. I, I take note of crossword puzzles here.
when we go to Moodle, we, we, we look at the puzzles. Okay, apart from the puzzles, what, who else can register? Let's register as many of them. Just to know uh, yes. Uh, mine is not a, a mode, it's just a question relating to uh, options. You see, consistently, the examiners sent their question paper saying, to be fair, allow students to have options between questions. Now, how can one configure that on the system? Okay, options. Options like so you have three questions and you can for instance the student has the option of answering one of those three questions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Unona. Yes. Yeah, in nursing we have uh, a graph called pathograph whereby you give the scenarios to the students and you ask them to plot to plot on that pathograph and then they will be able to diagnose based on the pathograph. Mm -hmm. Graph plotting? Yeah, but it's a specific graph. Yeah, by specific you mean, is it, is it a graph on a Cartesian plane or? Is it in, is it is it isn't it on the Cartesian plane? If it's plotting, then I I I, I suppose it's on the Cartesian plane. Mm, maybe I don't know what is a Cartesian plane. Is but it on Y axis? But it's a specific graph. Maybe I can send you on the on the email. Okay. Okay. I will send you on the email. Okay. Mm. Okay, crossword puzzles, uh, uh, the options. Uh, yes. The fill in the missing words, does that fall under short, short answer? Uh, no, short answer is, is different. So, so this filling the missing words, it falls under what? I just uh, fill in missing word. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, do, do, is, do we have that configured onto Moodle? Yes. Okay. Okay, then we need to learn those things. Thank you. Okay, there seems to be nothing. Also, the chat uh, looks uh, agree with Sophia. Okay, this is just a comment. All right, um, colleagues, before I go on, on Moodle now so that we look at the, the concerns shared by the colleagues here, they, 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 there is, or even before we go to the question settings, uh, perhaps it's very important to, to to at this time to talk about the, the issue of quality assurance uh, in terms of moderation. It's very important when you set your questions on the paper, uh, you need to put them on the system in advance. If you try to, to, to package, to repackage your questions on the system like tomorrow, we know the examination is approaching soon, and the, this is a hard time, especially for us here, because the demand we get from the colleagues out there is that sometimes you are being told, look, my friend, I'm very busy and I'm, it's complicated. I, how can I explain to you if you can just do it for me? Just do it for me, please. The exam is to be written tomorrow at three. That, 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 is, that is extremely, extremely, um against the quality we we really recommend that you try your best to find time within and the with, with the within the resource with your department you package these questions 
on, on, on Moodle on time so that you get stuck and get unstuck. The other thing is that their questions need to be, sometimes they need to be changed or rephrased when we have to ask them on, on Moodle. And then if you, if, 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 you, if you let a person who lacks the subject meta expertise to do it, there are room for lots of uh, mistakes. And if, if it's to be written already tomorrow, you are in for a surprise because it will, you then have issues. And then what happened is that, no, it was set by so-and-so. Uh, that, that colleague of, who is the one who set it, then it becomes like, it also become uncomfortable on this side because we feel like, okay, I was trying to rush. And we don't even enough, enough human resource here to say, if you, if you have 50 colleagues or 50 examination that are like, set it for me now, set it for me now, tomorrow, please is to be written tomorrow, it won't work. But also there is a need for, for a third or a second eye to preview your questions while on Moodle. As a moderation should not just be on the paper. Let, let, the, let, let another colleague come to your paper on Moodle, preview it, and then they are, they are subject matter expert. They would know where the answer is supposed to be A, but they see that is now the answer is now made B, then they will be able to rectify it. Okay, now, some questions can sound very complicated like the, the file that I'm sharing right now here. Uh, we do have the ESA type of question that can take a lot of questions. ESA type of question can take a lot of questions. Okay. But sometimes just because the question has got some sort of complex calculations, it might not necessarily mean you cannot always, um, uh, you cannot always, perhaps it cannot be handled by Moodle. It can be handled, but the easy type of question is a, is a one that can mostly handle such, okay? And then the next thing I want to bring to your attention is, um, okay, here we are, no question added yet. So we want to add questions. So I'll click on uh, edit quiz, and then I'll then have to add question from here. And then um, there is one thing that I want to explain. So I'll start randomly uh, before I go to the questions. I'll, 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 I'll start randomly, even with multiple choice, but I do not really want to add the multiple choice question per se. There is one thing I want to explain. Okay, it's here. Where I want to draw your attention is on the is on the text editor that we used. This text editor is the same either for you to when you are setting up the question or on the side of students when they are answering in case of um, inside type of question. Okay, this text editor has got a lot of uh, features that are that are also available in Microsoft Word, the most the most popular uh, word processing application. Yeah, so for instance, you 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 can okay this. Formatting is it's already obvious and the bullets and numbering stuff like this are, are obvious. But the way I want to draw your attention is on the special characters. So if you click on the, if your, 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 your screen is wide as mine, it appears in just one row. But if your screen is, is smaller, it might appear on the third, it might have three rows and then it will appear on the third row. But once you click on this one, you will see you will see all these type of um, 
operators, operators um, arrows, Greek symbols, and some advanced um, functions or so that you can insert. And also when you're still answering that they can make use of, okay? So uh, it's something that I, 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 we have noticed that colleagues, some colleagues have not been aware of that can I type this type of um, characters? Where do I take them from? Or where would my student take them if they have to answer now those type of question? Okay. Now, perhaps it will be, it will now be necessary to, let me just cross this one. Before I start on the essay, perhaps it will be necessary to start on the, on the questions of the colleagues. Answer select missing word. They have here. Uh... Yeah, for for a for a crossword puzzle, we we wouldn't have a typical puzzle on the system, but there must be an application among these items. They, they can be um, they can be one of the item here that can that can be repurposed for that. I just need to think of um, I just need to think of a scenario of a puzzle. The crossword puzzle where you most you 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 cycle. Okay, you have okay. I think I remember what the puzzle is now. You cycle the words, right? Uh, who was the colleague? Is it? You, do you cycle the word from the no, yes? No, actually, what uh, you 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 write the words on a on a puzzle itself. Um, let me email you an example of, uh, and, and then you can you can check it. Okay, I appreciate let me email it. Email you an example of a puzzle. So what I normally use that they they, they they have some. I'll email it to you now, just for you to have an idea. Okay. Um, I think the other yes. colleague just emailed here. Yes. Mm. It was the instruction here. Mr. Unona, can I explain? Yes, yes, you may. Okay. <laughs> that is the graph, which is called pathograph. And the information on the email, the students, they need to read that information and they have to plot correctly on the pathograph. And after they plot, they have to answer this question, one, two, three, four, depending on what to, how they interpret that pathograph. So uh, are you saying the whole of, from here, from top down, th this is one graph? Yes. Or... It's okay. one graph and the, the question is based, the observation, the information should be filled on the pathograph. Okay, good. Now, when they when they when they are feeling this pathograph, uh, where, where would they be plotting? Is it, for example, on the coordinates, or is it, is it, for example, they would be using some of the columns here? They, would they be writing in the boxes here? 
some some information they need to write on the boxes some mm -hmm. they have to plot like um you see from the on the left side mm -hmm. can i can i maybe screen and i and i you see like on the left side that mm -hmm. is that's tell them where to, to how to plot like the fit oh, the, oh like the first one no on the left side of the outside the what or oh, outside the graph outside the graph it tells them where to like this dot down down to your case okay this one retail uh, the fit uh, heart rate fit heart they rate should, they should make a dot on the line on the specific okay. line while okay. while on where your case is there is membrane they mm -hmm. have to write on the box membrane they write i or m or what okay and also on caput and molding they also write need to write on the column mm -hmm. then if you go down that is the no up that is the bp you see where on top a bit bp they have to make that line where your case is down a bit uh that line on your left side yeah this that one. one they have to 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 plot that inside on the line in mm -hmm. the graph in it's the graph. having different different um what they plot on the different each each observation is having its own plotting and they also mm -hmm. have to sign on some columns and also write the date and the time Mm -hmm. And there is also some columns on top where there is contraction um, on this. yeah where your case is move move to the left those where your case is 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 right and contraction they have yeah. to shade they have to shade those uh, blocks mm -hmm. if there are three contractions. Maybe they put the dots depending on the duration and also how strong is the contraction. There are different three types of shading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think I got I think I got a picture. I got a picture who, who, who address it. Uh Dr. Denegu, I see your, your hand. I don't know whether I, I saw it on time or perhaps it was long time back. <laughs> okay, perhaps it's an old hand. Or maybe I can screenshot the field one. Um, I think Doc, I got I got a picture. I I, I got a All picture right. and, and I have an idea. Okay. Um let, let's do this. Uh Hello. oh yes, Doc. I was trying to say that uh, maybe you can make one on one with the lady so that you discuss this graph because yeah. <laughs> some of us are on here to learn more on how to add questions and so okay uh, absolutely there, there are some generic there, there are some generic items that we need to address yeah. then there are some specific very very specific items that we need to address as well so I agree with you. If the colleagues can allow me, this is doable in an essay type of question, and perhaps I will use our answer it as as uh, when we reach the when I start demonstrating. Um, uh, uh, oh, these are my emails now that I'm showing here. Let's see, okay. So let's 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 start. I I also took note of your email, uh, colleague. There, there was another email that uh, where I got. I think it was from Deshi. I I yeah. I'll I'll, I'll look at that. The, you are, we'll answer your questions as we go to the specific questions. But I got an idea, especially of that graph. Very very interesting. We'll see how to address it. Uh, 